I'm going to run, run out of food and stuff like that. And I try to order things online and then it's going to take up a couple of days to get in. You know, I'm just trying to question, so how am I going to eat? You know, like, what if something happens? How am I going to get out? And also, I'm just getting a little bit anxious because I want to get out and, you know, exercise and just go for the cardio and walk and do things outside, which is really healthy for the mind, right? But, yeah, so this is, an, you know, just a thought. It's, yes, it's not easy for me to stay locked in that room, especially because I cannot access the house properly. But... I'm just trying to be very distracted and this weekend I just decided just to get back into editing videos because since I got here, especially the first two weeks, I didn't do anything because there was a lot of drama with him, the landlord, and even Harry was here for like seven days as well, but they were all locked in the room inviting people over. So for two weeks, I was already, my first two weeks, I was already inside this drama and I didn't even know anything about it, you know. And then in my first night, the second night, the third night, the police was already here as well. And there was things that got stolen from him. And it's just a mess. I mean, it's a completely a mess. It's a very difficult situation to explain, but hopefully you understand, you know, it's just dealing with drug addicts. It's just like that. It's volatile, drama after drama. drama. And they're literally passing out on drugs. You know, it's just completely madness i've not seen something like that before and of course i've you know i've seen things i've heard things but nothing like this is really extreme i, I just hope you understand the gravity of the situation it's just people that are completely lost the sense of community and so they don't have self-control and they are out of their minds and also they are not only danger for their own lives but also for other people's lives as well and it's just definitely a community safety concern if that makes sense but yeah it is tough it is really really tough being locked in the room for five days straight but i did everything what i had to do so i'm kind of feeling accomplished but exhausted at the same time and so yeah i've rested today i slept a lot and hopefully tomorrow I can get up early and start doing the things that I have to do in terms of preparing myself to find work. Because right now I cannot really apply for jobs like that. And if I have job interviews, there will be violence. 